Welcome to Mer Dragon Tricks. I've got a little hack and trick for you for the Odyssey event. So for this particular event, I'm going to show you how you can get tree sprouts really, really fast, as well as how you can get points without having to actually harvest them so that you'll be able to collect your all of your rewards by getting the level 10 points and two of those. So you can see with the map here, I've cleared most of the 10 and 50s and partially of the 500. See, there's still a few 500 bits and pieces here and there. Um, but that's the, the point is um, you want to try to clear some of the 500 because you want to get access to these, the large brambles if you could. And it, the small ones is not as good because mainly what we're trying to get is these piles of bones and they tend to come out the large ones. And the large ones you can harvest it quite a few times. So you can see here I've got quite a few of piles of bones all around here. So what we're going to be doing is essentially filling the map with our bones, doing a mass merge and therefore be able to get our sprouts. As you can see so far I've already got four of the twin life flowers. So we're going to be aiming to get some more of those so we can get our rife trees sprouts so we can collect these kind of org the life orb level threes to fill the map and get our life um orbs of heaven let's see the uh life orbs of heaven yep and this particular trick actually works for the chest as well as the capsules. So let me show you exactly what I mean. So what you want to do is essentially pile your bones on the side and then fill your map with the uh, life orbs. The smaller ones might be easier because coming out of these ones, you'd be able to fill your map a lot faster. So we're going to go ahead and then tap our life orbs. Just want to make sure we tap the side that there is definitely no space left. So we're going to make two of those spaces, tap our bones, two of our spaces, tap our bones. And we just keep on going with tapping our bones until we actually fill the map with all of the bones. And then we can do a bulk merge and be able to get those high level life flowers. And there's some more here. So obviously the more piles of bones you can try to get out of the map, the easier this will be because you'll be able to fill the map really, really fast. And then essentially go again until you get the higher level life flowers or life tree sprouts in this case. Okay, so I want to show you what you can do. So this only works with the capsule that's on the map. As you can see, these two here are the ones that are already on the map, which has been healed. It does not work with the free capsules, as you can see here, because the uh, the capsules on the map are actually filled with the points items, where you'll be able to do the same tricks. So effectively, if you clear a couple, you'll be able to get two of those level three point systems, and also over here, level three points as well. And then what we're going to do, oh, let me show you the chest as well, our chest over here. So let's clear two of those. We've got chest items and two of those chest items. Sometimes it comes out with the points and sometimes it comes out with other things. So we're going to go back to the wall map. And then let's go back into our game. And let's start from over here, the chest. So again, let's clear two spaces and we've got some more points there. And then do the other one. And then over here with the capsules, as you can see here with the two point systems and then two points as well. And then let's tap those for our bones, two of our bones, and then two of our bones, and two of our bones. So essentially that's all you have to do to keep going to get your life routes. I'll show you exactly where I'll get it. And also check out my other um, previous video for Once Upon a Time where I'll show you where you'll be able to actually fill your particular map with level 5 point six items in which case you'll be able to create that level 10 item super fast without taking ages to harvest and you should definitely be able to finish the event within the allocated time usually within a day if you're active with playing it this way i hope you do enjoy the video do make sure you hit the thumbs up button and subscribe and bring you more tips and tricks to help you get more out of the game And I've done that about, I think, maybe five or six times, as you can see. And I've gotten the five giant flowers, so now I can put them together. And voila, we've got our life tree sprout. So I'm going to go ahead and harvest those and make our heaven of life orbs. 
I have another I can never get the name right. The life the ob the life ob of heavens. The life ob of heaven. So we need at least five of those and possibly six. So once I've done that, I'm gonna go ahead and use the same trick and get the points and I'll show you how I do that. So by using these techniques you should definitely be able to finish your event within a day. If you like your video so far do make sure you hit the like button for me as well as subscribe for more and additional tips and check out some of my other videos to see how you can get free gyms as well as the, the safe hacks that you can do essentially be able to guarantee with the rewards here that you would get over here. Uh, essentially how you can get seven eggs here, seven eggs here, as well as for the star one. Because obviously once you actually make the life herbs, you'll be able to get these as well. So how you get the seven nests of owls as well. So that way you can maximize the amount of rewards you get for any event that you do decide to play. And it won't take all weekend. So I've gotten most of the life of heaven herbs. About five I think. I need one more to clear all of the land. But got most of the land cleared already. I just want to show you how to get the points for all of the rewards. So basically, as you can see, mostly it's just this area which I've got covered. I'm not going to really clear the rest to my trouble. <laughs> so I'm going to cover the area with um basically life robes. And if you use the blue ones, they're the fastest for your dragon to cover. And I've got the eggs, so I managed to get a bit more dragons to help with that, as you can see right over here. And now what we do is basically the capsules that you actually get from under the unhealed land, not the free ones, because these ones don't give you points exactly, but are just random stuff, possibly points. But these capsules on the map, which is these three over here, uh, one, two, three. Uh, sometimes there's more, but there might be more under the, uh, the cloud ones, which I haven't uncovered. Uh, but as well as also the big yellow one over here, which you'll find under the unhealed land, which is for one of the cloud keys that's always there. Basically, that one will give you a level five point item when you click on that. So the level four, five is the shoes in this case. So essentially what you want to do is cover your land with the hearts and then we're going to tap two spaces and then tap out our points and another two and another two and basically once you do let's go on to the world map and once we've done that go back in essentially that refreshes it and when you tap on it again so let's go again You'll be able to basically continuously get those points. And you could, like I mentioned before, use the chest as well. But it's uh, um, unnecessary because with the chest, you don't exactly know what you get out of it. You could get the quick harvest items or alternatively get coins or hearts and occasionally the point, um, the level three point items. So it's really up to you how you want to do it. You can either cover the map or with the level three point items from the capsules. And you, I think with um, the amount of the land healed with the um, all of the 50s and some of the 500 required for the previous little hack that I showed you, you I think about three times or so you would be able to get the level 10 point items or alternatively you could do the chest and get these quick harvest items and get the dragons to harvest it maybe faster haven't tried that myself but it depends on how you wish to have it played out so i'm going to go ahead and create the point items and then i'm going to show you how you can get all of the items along with also with all of the nests to get seven of them for sure with the little cloud save trick and i'll see you in a little bit